Hello and happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. All right, Virgos, let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say, Virgos. Hopefully you all are having a great week. Yeah, you change your change the clocks and all those things. This reading is for the eighth of uh we you know that we're in this weird countdown. We're in this last quarter moon phase, right? So we're still in a cycle. So you're still trying to think about finishing strong, right? Um, a balance out life, a life that you love and that you're absolutely pleased with on both sides of the your personal and your professional life. So that should be the primary focus for you. You're not carrying somebody else's weight of their stress of green with envy, trying to disrupt people's peace, that kind of stuff. Um, people who uh, feel like their life is out of alignment and they don't have a problem throwing yours out of alignment. So stay focused. Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the Five of Swords and also the Ace of Cups. Alrighty. Yes. Four of Cups. No reason for you to stay posted up trying to figure out when the next move is going to happen because in this checked out state of just feeling like I'm, I'm around people who is their way or the highway. Remember the light side of the number four. There's light and dark side to all energy, right? Virgo. So the light side of the number four is knowing that four is an earth number, right? Is the earth number. And it's knowing that you're a divine being of light who's just having a human experience, right? So when you're sitting around talking when people who are um, vengeful and vindictive and people who are tyrannical and people who are saying that they have money problems, they don't even realize the words that they're saying out of their mouth is actually creating their reality, right? Here you are perfectly, everything is perfectly in line. Things are happening for you. Boom, 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 boom. Things are working out for you. And they don't even realize their words are creating their reality. And here you are reaching up on a money tree, right? So when I say reaching up on a money tree, we're not just talking about the money, the bank, the money that's in your current, your bank account, because you all are not really a money hungry zodiac sign. There has to be some purpose tied to you making your monies, Virgos. But um, the fact that you, you've been trying to tell people, like all this sitting around trying to help people figure it out, getting yourself emotionally dehydrated, you know, sitting around trying to think of creative ideas for other people who will sit there and let you turn into a pillar of salt and they still won't give you water on your way, on your way down. They won't give you water because all they want you to do is wreck your brain trying to figure out how to make them richer. That's not going to happen. So it says, get your rest physically move on from this physically move on from this and go ahead and get your rest. Cause you're sitting here thinking brain just ticking, 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 ticking. How can I make their lives better? You can't because you're not their God. That's one, right? So that's a just that's a that's humility right there. I'm not their God. I cannot change the way they talk to themselves. I cannot change the energy that they put out into the universe. And as matter as much as I keep every time they say something negative, I come back with something positive. I'm constantly trying to help them, like you know. But again, it's the seeds that they're planting, right? So protect your water. Protect your water. Okay, that's the source is trying to tell you. Be your ace, your own ace. <laughs> you checking this ace of cups right here? Protect your own water is what source is trying to tell you because otherwise people will people will dry you, drain you dry with all of these creative ideas that you're giving them to make money for them, but yet and still source is increasing your money. Everything is boom, 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 lining up for you because of what you're speaking into the universe. <clears throat> Some of you all are not watching tech toxic uh, shows on television. You're not tuned into any toxicity on social media. None of that stuff. It's like if it's not if it's not going to help me bring somebody else's lifestyle, help change somebody else's lifestyle. I don't even want to be attached to it. That's the frequency that you're on, Virgo. So, <clears throat> source is saying, as far as loved ones are concerned, you love them, but you love you more. Get focused. Here we have the um here we have the king of wands. Mhm. Mm so you have a lot of ideas and like I said sources say you, you somebody has to learn how to show people better than you can keep telling people, right? Because this is what you want. You want cohesiveness in your family and that's exactly what you're going to get ultimately. But again, you have to show people better than you can tell them. So when people see that you're out here winning, your money is flowing and things are happening, they're going to eventually hear you loud and clear. But the more and more you keep talking, 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 you keep trying to find ideas for them and 
coming up with all kinds of suggestions for them to make their lives better. They don't hear anything. It's like, it's, it literally is like you sound there, your lips are moving, but they can't hear anything coming out or whatever they hear coming out sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher because they, they like, go ahead with that. I already know that Virgo is going to figure it out. I already know Vir Virgo is going, you know, overanalyze the situation and make it happen. So people are really depending on you making it happen, no matter what mental state it puts you in. Okay. So just keep that in mind too, because this is how they are. They're not budging. If Virgo wants to go work their fingers to the bone and stress themselves out and come up with all these creative ideas to help me, you know, to keep up this, you know, we, we got a, we got a, uh, I can't even say perfect appearance or just kind of like, you know, certain people aren't flawed. Eventually, somebody's about to find out <clears throat> that you can only perfect your own universe. And so you all are really the perfect sign to help people to learn how to get their own universe in order. And remember, your universe is not your husband's, your wife's, your kids' universe. They're their own universe. The universe will be your mind, your physical body. They have to position their physical body, what comes out of that mouth of theirs, what they say, the energies they're allowing in that ear gate so they can be in spaces where, but yeah, like I said, they could be in spaces where they not sitting there with their arms folded. I'm not budging. I'm not budging. The only thing they budging to do is, you know, whenever warm up to you when they need something, that's the only budging that they're doing. But are they really putting forth that same effort? Is it blood, sweat, and tears that you're putting into something? Nope. Here we have the four of cups. I mean, four coins, so it says be conservative with your money. Time is money. So that may look like a five-minute conversation with some of your family members. Hey, what's going on today? Okay, what you got on your calendar today? Oh, well, I don't really, they just hemming and hawing. I don't really know. And so on so Okay, well, you know what? You have a great day. My, my calendar is booked and busy. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I got boom, boom, boom. I got this going on. I got that going on. They're like, oh, wow. It exhausts them to hear how well everything is coming up, coming together for you, but it's not exhausting them enough to say, oh, to be inspired to do the same thing that you're doing, right? When I tell you some people are about to be in for a rude awakening, that's an understatement. Here we have the page of swords. Yeah, Paige, so your anxiety is about to go away because see, when people start seeing that you physically moving away from their, their expectation this sense of entitlement that you're supposed to do everything virgos it's gonna hit some people like a ton of bricks here we have the <laughs> the page of cups oh my god Woo! i know i laughed a lot in that last video but this is this is a crying shame this is this is not even funny i mean really just people are so used to virgos just kind of going along with the flow and trying to figure it out and trying to perfect things and trying to get everything in order and all of this let me just tell you what's about to happen, Virgo. Somebody's going to call you selfish. Virgo is all alpha Virgo. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the story you want to run, uh, hey, you want to go ahead and run with it. <laughs> go ahead. I'm not even trying to clear it up. If that's the story that you want to tell everybody, I'm not even trying to clear it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, at this stage in your life, you're not even arguing with people. It's just simply okay. If you tell me 12 and 12 is 6, then guess what? 12 plus 12 is 6? Yep, it sure is. <laughs> I am not <laughs> I am not arguing with you. So here we have this. There it is right there, 7 of Wands. You can defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive. And you one step closer to this, King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you is that source is already telling you, you know, you've tried. You've tried really hard, but this is them right there. Hanging out with the trash talkers, hanging out with people who, you know, want to stay connected to you. They walking out, they feel like they left out in the cold. I feel like you just left me behind. And some, of, some of the things you really can't even make up. You really, really can't make up. See, here's the thing. This is your desire. Your desire is for cohesiveness, right? Your desire is that everybody would find their light within themselves, that they would find their um, their potential, that they would live their best lives on purpose here on this earth, right? But they're so busy with this sense of entitlement as if... 
See, source will have you walking past your own vault for years until you recognize who's only latched on to you for what they can get from you. And they harboring a bunch of resentment, right? A bunch of resentment. This nine right here, that's why there's so much money on the table. Because nine, the dark side of the number nine is people who are quite resentful. Resentful. They're big headed. Like the shape of the number nine is a big head, right? Let me show you something. If, uh, hopefully, when you when you study numerology and you talk about the light and dark side of numbers, all energy is light and dark side of it. It's shape. It's it's like a a person who has a big ego, like a really big head, filled with ego and and being prideful and that kind of things. Right? They just big headed. And um, but the 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 dark. I mean, excuse me, the light side, and then tyrannical. So you can't tell them that they resent. Like you can't even tell them how you talk. How do you attract wealth? Right? Wealth of knowledge. Wealth of inf You know, wealth of knowledge. Wealth of patience. Wealth of tenacity. Wealth of loyalty. Right? You, how, why people want to be loyal to you, right? They want to be loyal because they're inspired by your energy. You can't teach them that because they're so big headed. And so, you know, unless I physically see the, the paper and coins and, and, and unless I can go out here and buy the latest fashion and the designer this and the so-and-so to drive in this kind of car and living in this kind. And there's nothing wrong with any of those things, but they don't even hear what you're saying, Virgo, in the relationships that you've, you've, uh, you've, um, the relationships that you build with people, like healthy relationships that you build with people, they would rather believe it's because of how you look, whether it's your complexion, your height, your weight, your hair, your skin color. They would believe it's something else that people are attracted to you and want to give you instead of looking at hard work and how you poured into other people. So there's nothing to there's nothing to explain. Here we have the ten of ten of coins, double legacy wealth, two for two, double legacy wealth, you and whomever. Whether it's a business situation or you know, you and a grandchild or you and a you and a uh another one of your kids or you and a business partner, you and you and a spouse, you and somebody are saying, you know what, we, we can show people better than we can tell them. Because some people are just stuck on that. They stuck on that frequency. And guess who already approved you for a source? So like I said, start speaking. Start start looking at very wealthy lifestyle. A lot of very, very wealthy people. You don't see them with name brands on. Because if it's not their brand, they're making just as much money as the people, the brand owners. Because they own their own brand. So source is saying to you, some people do, some people don't. To each his own. There's nothing wrong either way. It's your mindset though. You, you have a very wealthy mindset. I want to help change people's lives. And that's what, that's the, that's the lesson that the somehow, no matter how many times they have to repeat that same course, they're still not getting it. So somebody else is going to have to teach them because you on your horse, <laughs> you on your way back to your throne. This is you right here. You've been working hard. You know, you got your hat on. Now it's time to put the crown on. You on your horse going back to your do your uh, to your throne. Some people are just like I said. It's just like so. Get yourself mentally prepared, you know, for your double legacy wealth here and how you're continuing to pour into people, Virgos, that really want to learn, that really want to grow. They're not just simply looking for a handout, right? They nothing beats that hard work ethic, and you put you put it in. Right, you put that hard work ethic in, and some people they just want to ride your coattails. So, snip, snip. All right, so let's see what else we have going on here. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Let's see what else we have going on here. Cause stop the stop the madness. <laughs> there is a lot of wealth in your cards. Here we have High Priestess energy, Six of Wands. Here we have the Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles again, Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. See, somebody's heart was blue because, see this blue heart right here? Somebody's heart was blue because their spiritual vision was blurred. Somebody could not see for the life of them. They couldn't see why they were here on this planet. What, what, was, what was the reason? What was, why am I here? Why am I on this planet? So it says, I need you to get your spiritual vision fo into focus. I need to get that, get that focus like those binoculars. I need you to turn, bring it into focus, right? So <clears throat> I need you to get locked in because that heart, that blue heart, that sadness, you know, for people that you love was just making things just worse and worse and worse. And now that same blue is thinking expansion. 
I have a heart to help people, right? At first it was just this group of people here, but now I have a heart to help a whole lot more people who want to learn, who want to grow, who want to expand. Here's the nine of pentacles came out twice. I'm telling you, it's you and somebody doing it. Y'all are doing it big too. So congratulations to you because you're out here slaying your demons. And we're not talking about people, okay? We're not talking about a person as a demon. We're talking about you're slaying your own demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty, being uh, getting away from bullying energies. You are motivated like a spotlight is on somebody. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Here we go to 10 of cups right here. I see somebody definitely in a family situation where you feel just harmonious, right? So whether you get married to somebody or you just around your, your you know, your soul community, a lot of, uh, a lot of other creative energies, it's like this just pouring fresh water around the table, creative ideas, no shade, no messiness, no, none of that, just good spirits. Here we have high priestess. This is you right here. Somebody already saw this. Here we have the eight of wands. And there's a quick progression of this, Virgos, quick progression. It's happening to you, it's happening for you fast, right? So whatever you thought was happening to you, it was actually happening for you. It was actually happening for you. And the way that it's going to come back to your family members that's not listening right now is it's going to come back from other people that says, oh my God, Virgo really helped change my life. They really did this. They are inspired. What? Then it's, oh, then it's that pride and, that, and then it's the shame and embarrassment. It's like, wow, I didn't recognize how good I had it when I had access to Virgo. Virgo is right in my family. And I, I just, I just, I just took it for weakness. Sometimes it, it I took the, I, I just took it for granted. Excuse me, not weakness, but I took it for granted. But that's how it always happens. And that's what, that's what you're learning right now is it always happens that way because people are too close. They can't see they too busy listening to aunt this person, uncle this person, somebody that said they knew you when you were a kid and they never saw it. They too busy listening to all these influences to even see you. But that's okay. It's cool. It really is cool because now you're helping other people that's not connected. And like I said, we're all connected, but they don't see it that way yet, but they will. So when I say walk through that vault door unapologetically, walk right on through. Source has already approved you. The approval came from source. You're already making the connections right now. Some of you all in your high priestess energy is, is are you inspiring people's businesses? You helping to shine a light on stuff that they don't you you will never be their competition because that's not your calling in life. So you don't have you don't have a problem celebrating them. They're like, oh my God, I never thought of it that way. You're in, you're in, you're continuing to pour into people, and people are seeing that in you. Virgo people are saying wow Virgo is you know they they telling me basically a whole business plan <laughs> they telling me the resources that I got connected to me Virgo is telling me all of this like well I never thought about all of these people that was sitting around me wait they were waiting for you to leave they were waiting for you to leave Virgo that's why I have so much wealth here on the, on the table because source is saying to you your life is really about to change all you had to do was just recognize these energies where's the energy all you had to recognize were these two energies right here. These two types of energies. People who had a sense of entitlement. And this is a type of energy. It's not just two people. It's a type of energy. Let me ride Virgo's coattails. Virgo is meticulous. I know Virgo is going to put the hard work in. I know Virgo is going to find a detail in everything. And they just, like I said, just... Mm-hmm. Trying to slip in through the back door, trying to slip in through the side door, haven't put one ounce of work into anything. Just can I just just glide in on Virgo's hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. So here we have right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled at each moment. Yep. It's happening. I'm telling you, Virgo, it's happening. The only thing that matters, time is relative. It's happening right now in your life. There's people, the people's phone lines are, <laughs> their phone lines are burning up. Oh my God, did you talk to Virgo? What? Virgo inspired. Oh, I just got off the phone with Virgo. Virgo told me X, Y, and Z. That, that was the most meticulous such and such I ever heard in my life. That was, that thing was so detailed. And oh my God, Virgo, 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 right? Virgo inspired me to be better. Virgo this, Virgo that. Yeah, but people that's right there that have access to you, take it for granted. 
sex magic. 38, I draw on my body with an invisible blade carved with the bliss of lustrous teeth. It is the allure that I will meet blood and flesh. Mm hmm Yeah, so you see, you see what some people are dealing with. There, there's some family members who are definitely under some kind of a um some kind of sex magic you know is going on they just under you know that could be some people's demons they just can't help themselves they cannot they cannot put their flesh under submission let alone tell you that that's a demon for them right and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with the act but there's something very wrong when it's when a person doesn't recognize that they may have some kind of an addiction to something, right? And you're you're just trying to help them like, okay, well, you know, what what's the um there's an older movie. She's gotta have it, right? He, she's gotta have it, whatever the case may be. Your intu your intuition is telling you a whole lot of things. But a lot like I said before, one day somebody's gonna come out of whatever trance they're in and figure out like wow I had access to Virgo the whole time. They're going to call you selfish, Virgo. They're going to say all kinds of stuff like you help everybody else, but you couldn't help me. As if you are their God. You can't buy into any of that stuff. You couldn't help me or you wouldn't help me. Okay. Well, like, like I said, if you say 12 and 12 is three, hey, let's go with that answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all I can say. I just got those two letters for you. Okay, I'm not gonna give you the A Y. Just okay, just okay, whatever. Cause you're not you're not about to stress me out. I, that's not that's not. Cause see, source is continuing. The more and more you keep pouring into people, source is saying, I'm just I'm just building up your strength, because there're gonna be people outside of your bloodline. Um, even though I say you know everybody is connected, we're talking about the, the crown chakra, but I'm just saying there's people outside of your immediate family that um that's you have come in contact with the same type of energies same type of energy sense of entitlement just because they get they paid you with a compliment so they feel like they can somehow come in they don't see their purpose yet so you're just trying to help people find their light their purpose right if i can do it so can you As a matter of fact because you already know it's to your benefit as well if they find their throne if you can help them find their throne it's going to benefit you too Right? So here we have look to the stars. Because you already won. That's right. That's where you're going. Straight to the top. So it's a lot of people talking right now. See, I'm looking, I'm looking also in the spirit realm too. There's some family members that's sitting around talking right now, trying to figure out, you know, what the next move is and how, you know, how can we plot and scheme and how can has anybody talked to Virgo? Has anybody you know, um, how can we create any kind of reason to have a conversation with you? But <clears throat> like I said before, you've already identified and slayed your demons. And, you know, people can't use money against you anymore. They cannot. That's why so much money on the table because people are trying to burn you when they come, try to burn you out, stress you out. So your dreams just need a practical plan. That's it. Your dreams need a practical plan. The very thing that people try to burn you and stress you out about as being in, in the very thing that they want, but they they talked against it. When I talk say talk against money, it's the people who are always it's like they don't have a they don't have a healthy relationship with money. They would be the type of people that would say, Oh, you don't need all that money. All you need all I need is a little bit, you know, X, Y, and Z, not even realizing mm -mm -mm. not even realizing for people who even believe in the Bible, there's scriptures about, you know, uh gifts and talents and what people do with those gifts and talents, right? How you're going, some people bury their gifts and talents. All they need is just enough for them. And some people figure out, look, use their gifts and talents to try to inspire the world. So it's their, it's their, it's their communication. That's what it is. And you all are ruled by the communication plan. And so you already know. So like I said, you're not trying to etch anything into by anybody's skin. You're not trying to force anybody to do anything. It's just a, hey, whatever. If that's what you believe, then that's what you believe. So I do see, like I said before, those of somebody, let me, let me slow down for a second because this is, this is, all of this is serious, but somebody's ex, mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Y'all know I, I I like to talk about moving on from people, but 
somebody's ex still has this grand idea of either y'all gonna get back together or like every they, it's the word full circle is is like everything is gonna come back around full circle for them and you all are gonna come back together. They are just as delusional. I mean it They literally right now, somebody's ex is sitting down somewhere with their head in their hands, trying to figure out how the heck they fumbled you. What in the world? You know, that's what they, 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 but they would blame everybody else. They blame everybody else, but they never look at themselves. They would never look at themselves, Virgo. It's, it's, it's just a sad, it's, it's just a sad, sad state of affairs. It's sad. It really is. Because what I'm seeing in the spirit realm is, um, somebody literally sitting on the edge of a bed and their head is in their hands, like right here, like in the palm of their hand, their head is in the palm of their hands and they just, their shoulders are all hunched up and they just can't figure out for the life of them how they really, it, it. But see, what happened, <clears throat> what happened was they talked so, they let so many people talk stuff about you and they sat there and left you uncovered and vulnerable and unprotected. They did nothing to protect you. They were so busy in their ego thinking about how much money they were going to make and, you know, who they can cheat on you with and just living, uh, just not even realizing. Mm. Mm. Let me, let me just, let me go ahead and close out this reading. Cause it's sad. And I, and I, and I, I can't tell somebody whether to go back to an ex or not, but your life is changing and it's happening fast Virgo. And again, you know, by now I'm talking to you, if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, but and things are happening right now, real time is happening right now. So I, I see a lot of people making some major moves this week. I see somebody making some major moves this week. This video, like I said, is dated for the 8th of November through the 8th of December. You may see it on the 7th, but I see by Friday somebody gonna put some make making some major moves, making some phone calls packing some boxes. It's some things that's really happening in, in the universe right now. Like some things are happening for you, you know, real time. And a lot of people are going to be real shocked. They're going to be shocked, Virgo, because you're not coming across as mean spirited. It's not going to come across as vindictive at all. It's not even going to come across with a smirk on your face. There's no shade None of that attached to this. This is just more or less like I've moved on. I've tried my absolute. I've given myself a headache. My head was spinning trying to help you. And you, I see that, that nothing I said, you just, and I need to move on. I, I just, I really had to sit down, talk with self. And I said, I just, I need to move on beyond this. I can't force you. So yeah, who are, and it's a spirit. Like I said, there it is. I'm a pioneer. 19, I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. Mm -hmm. Somebody has such a much better relationship with source, you know, inside of you. Um, somebody manifested all of this somebody spoke this into existence and wasn't afraid to dream bigger somebody just was not afraid to dream bigger and on everything that i'm looking at here in this car you were trying your best to bring certain people along with you they just did not because it wasn't meant for them to walk through their vault door because they have their own vault door so yeah let's pull one last card and let's go ahead and close it out mm, mm. Mm. All I can think of is tisk, tisk, tisk. That's all I can think of. That's the only word I can think of. T S K, T S K, and T S K. 
Here we have affirmations for productivity. I focus on projects aligned with my long-term goals, period. I move away from disturbances. I walk toward focus. I summon my attention to all that is crucial to my success. I take breaks to avoid burnout. I'm grateful for my work. I release tension. I allow my mind to move into a state of flow. That's it. Mm. All right, Virgos, that is what I have for you. Like I said, keep out here, hashtag winning, you know, living your absolute best life. I'm telling you this, and people out here that always knew you had it in you, Virgos, you just had to get away from certain family members. I mean, that's that's just the, that's, you, you just had to get away from certain people. And it's not like you're leaving them behind, but you're just going to have to spin the block, like come back, you know, when you see that they're ready, they're more mature, you know, that they actually get it. That's when you, that's when you may consider coming back. But right now you got, you on a mission, you got work to do. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye. Oh, let me give you the questions for the moon and Libra before we close out. Cause the moon and Libra, we kicks off on the ninth of, um, so you'll have these questions in advance. So Libra is a, a sign all about balance, right? It's a divine masculine sign, but it's ruled by a feminine planet, right? It's an air sign, but it's ruled by a feminine planet, Venus. First question, Virgo, is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And how could, um, how could you amplify that? Second question is, what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves, right? Go figure, right? Um, third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least, Virgos, is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude, right? So shifting from complaining would be, you know, like I said before, pouring out so much into people who they really, they, oh, I mean, I could have stopped this reading two minutes in really because the, the, the goal is to manipulate money from you. That's it. I mean, that's, that's really the, the, all of that to burn you out, to wear you down, to get money from you. That's it. That's it. So, um, and it, it didn't work. All you had to do was step into your light and listen to your intuition. You do clairvoyance, clear sentience, clear cognizance, clear audience. Your psychic gifts already told you. All the clairs already. You had enough clairs around you to tell you exactly what was going on. So that's what I have for you, Virgos. And I will see you on Friday. Bye.